agenda of the regular board meeting, President Board of Trustees, Village of Brown, Hill North County, day of April 23rd, 2022. At this time, I would ask for the clerk to call the roll, please. Trustee Taft? Here. Trustee Hodges? Here. Trustee Garcia? Yes. Trustee Greer? Yes. Trustee Richardson? Here. Trustee Claybrook? Here. Quam Brother, now we can um, stand up for the Pledge of Allegiance. Leave the Trustee Claybrook. Pledge of Allegiance. of America. And to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay, thank you. Uh, well then, uh, is there any approval or corrections of the minutes of the regular board meeting that will count on August the 9th, 2022? Any correction to be made to the minutes? Here now, and I will ask for a motion to approve the minutes for August 9th. Do we have a motion? Do we need a motion to approve the minutes? I'll make a motion to approve the minutes. Now we need a second, please. Second. For the court take the roll. Trustee Cap? Yes. Trustee Hodges? Yes. Trustee Garcia? Yes. Trustee Greer? Yes. Trustee Richardson? Yes. Trustee Claybrook? Yes. That motion passed. For those of you have, um, that have never been here before, from now since there was no correction to the minutes, it cannot be changed by state law. So it's too late now. So the board already approved it. Um, if there are any public comments, if you will stand up to give your reason for addressing the board, please limit your comments to three minutes. Uh, that's for motion to open the meeting to the public. I make a motion to open the session to the public. Okay, so the motion was pulled by Trustee Richardson. Can we have a second, please? Second of Trustee Garcia. Let's take the roll. Trustee Taft? Yes. Trustee Hodges? Yes. Trustee Garcia? Yes. Trustee Greer? Yes. Trustee Richardson? Yes. Trustee Claybrook? Yes. Thank you. Motion there. The meeting is now open to the public for public comment. Are there any public comments? I will ask for a motion to close the meeting to the public. I'll make a motion to close the meeting to the public. There's a motion on four by Trustee Cap to close the meeting to the public. Can we have a second? I second that. Second by Trustee Hodges. Trustee Cap? Yes. Trustee Hodges? Yes. Trustee Garcia? Yes. Trustee Greer? Yes. Trustee Richardson? Yes. Trustee Claybrook? Yes. My right, motion uh, passed. Uh, thank you. Meeting to the public. So in the mayor's report, I'd just like to say that we um, are looking at um, uh, considering a couple of gaming cafes in the village, uh, probably no more than three, so over the next few months or so, uh, you know, discussing that, you know, putting it out so the public can be aware of it, and uh, uh, generate some additional revenue so we can kind of beef up the police force. We did hire another uh, part full-time police officer uh, at uh, the last meeting. The issue right now is public safety is very, very significant throughout <coughs> the area. So we want to do whatever we can to keep the residents uh, safe as much as possible. We also are having a skunk problem. A lot of people are calling in about skunks in the yards and skunks that are spraying dogs. And it's just, uh, I mean, just a major problem. Uh, so, um, we're also going to be assisting some of the seniors with some uh, community landscaping. Um, we're going to get everybody to edge the parkways up to make it look real nice and, and uh, neat and, uh, and all of that. And we're also going to have the uh, Barada Iron Fence Repair at the Community Center. So that's all that I have in the mayor's report. So at this time, we just going to cut loose. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. Just again, that on. September 8th, the um, Secretary of State Mobile Unit will be at the Community Center from 10 to 2, and that will be September 8th. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. Good evening. And thank you all for coming out this evening. I have uh, some more information on the monkey pox. That is the most upcoming virus that that we have at the present. So the question is, what are the signs and symptoms of monkeypox? The answer, 
the fever, chill, water, milk, nose, exhaustion, muscle aches, back aches, headaches, sore throat, nasal congestion, or cough. Question, is there a cure? Currently, there is no specific treatment approved for monkeypox virus infection at this time. Um, it was said on the news that it was more or less a, 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 a men infect, a virus, but I'm not from my understanding in the news, uh, there was a baby that had yeah. the monkeypox. How long, how long is monkeypox contagious? Until their symptoms have gone away completely and until all sores, including the scab, have healed and a fresh layer of skin has been formed for at least 48 hours. The uh, monkeypox traditionally is seen in the center of the body, the face or the head. In some cases, lesions are seen in the genital area or around the uh, anus. Monkeypox can spread in different ways. I guess it depends on the person. There are several ways people can prevent monkeypox infection. Avoid close contact, skin to skin contact, washing your hands often with soap and water, are using um, echo hall based hand sanitizer. Just I want everyone to remember that CETA has a low income household water assistance program. Our customers may receive benefits up to $1,500 total. You can apply. Um, today the number would be 800 571 2336. And also, CETA should we start taking application for the utility in September? Okay, the annual garage sale is September the 17th, 9th to 4th. All's welcome. The rain date is 9-24. Uh, late, the holidays coming up in the month of September. Labor Day is September the 5th. September the 15th is Hispanic Heritage Month begin. September the 22nd, Autumn begin. Those are all holidays coming up in the uh, month of September. And the next Oh, okay. So that's it. Thank you, Trustee Griff, for reporting that information. Have a white and bell and Trustee Claybrook. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Illinois Department of Trans Illinois Department of Transportation. Um, it's an IDOT project. We have a pre-construction notice. The project will start um, in September next month. Uh, the location of the description of the project is uh, is 2.211 miles, and uh, it will be uh, considered the design overlay, the shoulder rumble strips and ADA improvement. The location of the work, the project is located on Brainerd Avenue from Muskegon Avenue to State Line Road in the village of Burnham and the city of Chicago in Cook County. Uh, the cost of this project is $3,486,257.50. And again, it starts next month in September. Thank you, Trustee Claybrook, and that project is sponsored by IDOT, so that expense will not be against the village of Burnham. That's the Illinois Department of Transportation. And thank you, Trustee Claybrook. You're welcome. Uh, on the ordinance revolution and planning, uh, I'm going to ask uh, Trustee Garcia if she would make a motion to table this resolution as an ordinance. So, I mean, this ordinance comes out to the next meeting. Um, we don't have the, uh, uh, the contract is not signed. Shall we make a motion to table um, ordinance number 2022-00003? Okay. There's a motion approved by Trustee Garcia to table ordinance number 2022 and the dash 0003. Can we have the motion, please? I mean, the second. The second. Second. The second. So the clerk has the roll. Trustee Tack? Yes. Trustee Hodges? Yes. Trustee Garcia? Yes. Trustee Greer? Yes. Trustee Richardson? Yes. Trustee Claybrook? Yes. Okay.
trustee wants to pass. Do you have anything else, trustee Garcia? No. Thank you, trustee Garcia. Finance trustee Cap. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. Good evening. I have nothing tonight. Thank you, trustee Cap. A couple of utilities, trustee Whitney. Good evening. Good evening. As trustee Greer already mentioned, that the builder will be taking applications for help with your electric bill starting September 1st. They are already accepting applications for um, your gas bills. It's called Share the Warmth and your water bills. You can do it on, uh, you can do it by phone or online. And there's two locations near us. One is 333 East 162nd Street. And their number is 708-596-6040. And their office, office hours are Monday through Thursday from 9 to 4. And there's a location at 538 West Sibley, phone number 708-223-2680. Office hours are Monday through Thursday, 9 to 3. So, and also we're having our community day picnic in the park right outside the village hall this Saturday from 12 to Five, I believe, twenty-five. Mm -hmm. So, hope that you all will come out. It's by ordinance, everyone here is now automatically invited to the village. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Park and Recreation, Trustee Hodges. All right, good evening. Good, good evening. evening. Uh, I want to uh, announce we have a Burnham back to school basketball tournament, uh, Parks and Recreation in Burnham, City of Burnham, in partnership with uh, Burnham Fire Department on September 10th at Blackburn Park. It will be a three on three basketball tournament. So uh, let everybody know that's also will be from, I believe, trying to do 12 to 4. Uh, that also the same that same uh, September twenty fourth we have a, a soccer tournament, uh, from the soccer tournament also uh, I guess also is part of the sure, with the fire department. That'll be September twenty fourth um, at Burnham Park twenty four. That'll be our second annual. Second annual, yeah, second annual. Both of them are second annual annual a back school basketball tournament, back school soccer tournament. That's September tenth for the basketball tournament. September twenty fourth for our soccer tournament. Um, also, I can I still want to remind everybody, Captain Boy Park District has some cool after school programs. Uh, they're not free though. They have various prices, but you want to know the, um, what's going on with that. You give them a call at 708, or you can talk to me, Jeff Hodges, or you give them a call to 708-868-2530, extension 1221. Um, they have uh, different uh, really cool things. Um, but like, if you want more information, you can talk to me, or you can call that number. I can say the number again, or you can go to their website. But really, I, I think it's better just to call the number. The, the website is www.mycmpd.com or 708-868-2530, extension one two one. And we want to make sure the kids have things to do after school so they can stay safe. That's what I'm working hard to do. Thank you. Thank you, Trustee Hodges, uh, for that report and your information. At this time, I would ask Little Barrage, if he would come up to the front. And I would also like to uh, have Pastor Merrick, and you'll like to celebrate the Church of God and Reverend Bale as well. Uh, uh, All right. Here's a plaque I'd like the trustee Griff to read this on behalf of Reverend Brother Scooby. Thank you, Reverend Bale. Thank you for your dedication, your compassion, and care it will not be forgotten. We are grateful for your inspiration. Messages full of insight and truth. May God bless you for the time you gave to the Burnham Police and Fire Department. Thank you for your service to the village of Burnham. And we thank you and we really you really need all of
but uh, congratulate Reverend. He has come into our lives over the last couple of years when he became chaplain. He was chaplain with the police department first, and he come he'd come every say, uh, Thursday. I'm sorry, Thursdays, and he have us all say a prayer before our training, and pr wishing us all good health and protection while we're doing our job. And I want to thank you for that. Yeah, I'd like to say uh, I really enjoyed my time with the fire department and the uh, police department. It was an experience. Uh, met a lot of people, uh, a lot of different uh, characters, a lot of different feelings, and emotional feelings, and a lot of people that cared and showed their love. I met that through all, you know, my tenure with the uh, fire department and the uh, police department. Um, going to miss this place. I also gonna miss the people I shared that with. Uh, I also want to say that uh, Burnham has one of the caring and genuine uh, employees, staff, and people, caring people here. And I really appreciate the mayor for allowing me to have this privilege to be the chaplain here, which was great. It was a good deal. That was a good deal. <laughs> <laughs> And um, I'd like to say, uh, my wife and I, you know, we can, and uh, Trustee Kev would like to mention him because he's always been like, they push me a little bit, he carries me a little bit. <laughs> it's been good. And I'd like to say, I uh, just want to thank everybody for uh, another good time we shared together. Enjoy it, everyone. And Reverend Roger, I would like for you to say one last and prayer that will endure for a hundred years. Okay. <laughs> Father God, we come again. Just come here, God. Just thank you for this day. We thank you for watching over us and keeping us, God. We know, God, as we go forth, that you're going to always be there, always be uh, up front, our back, our side, our left, and our right side, God. We just thank you for just giving us the, the strength to carry on, God. We ask favor over this community here. We ask favor over the fire department and over the police department and over the mayor's staff here. We ask all this in Jesus' name. Just keep them all in good health good strength and, good, and keep their faith going. Let them know there's nothing impossible with God. Nothing. We can do all things and you can do all things through the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Yes. Motion adjourned. Thanks for coming. We do have some of the president here, so please don't run off. You did a good job doing everything.